Hey guys, so this video is going to be my Create-a-thon announcement video as well as my TBR. So yeah, I have mentioned it on Twitter and I think I mentioned it in a vlog, but I wanted to make an official announcement video to announce that I'm co-hosting the Create-a-thon with Monica from Monica Kim. So Monica created this Read-a-thon last year to celebrate stories by Korean authors and encourage more people to read books by Korean authors. And of course, being Korean, I was like, I have to participate in this Read-a-thon and I had so much fun. So I'm so excited to be co-hosting it this year with her. I think it's going to be so much much fun and I have a lot of good books on my TBR. So we've come up with some fun challenges but it is a week-long readathon and it is running from the 6th to the 12th of July so it's coming up and we didn't want to create a stressful readathon experience so there are four challenges and there is also a group book that we're going to be reading all together but you can combine challenges and you don't have to do all the challenges if you don't want to it's obviously just for fun. I'm going to aim to read a book for each challenge but we'll see because obviously that will be a lot of reading in a week which would be amazing but also, I don't know if I can. So we'll see. But first I'll talk about the group book, which is The Silence of Bones by June Her. And this is a recent release. I believe this was released last month and I can't wait for this because once I heard this was coming out, I was like, that sounds incredible. And I've also since then seen amazing reviews. So this is a YA thriller and April from Aphelius Maximus, I know she read this and she said like every chapter ends with a cliffhanger and it's supposedly really gripping. So we thought this would be a good choice because hopefully we'll all be really captivated and want to read it quickly. So hopefully this will be a good pick for the readathon. So we follow 16 year old Sol who is homesick and an orphan and is living out the ancient curse, may you live in interesting times and she is assisting the politically charged investigation into this murdered woman and during the investigation she develops a bond with the inspector but her loyalty is tested when he becomes a prime suspect. So Sora might be the only one who is capable of solving the case and I do want to say this is supposed to be quite violent so you know if you're not into thrillers and violence and stuff like that this might not be for you but I am so excited it sounds so cool and yeah I just literally can't wait and I'm actually planning to if I have time because hopefully I'll be in the middle of moving and everything but if I have time I would love to film a spoiler filled reading vlog for this because I do that every month on Patreon I do a spoiler filled reading vlog for the bunny read of the month so for everyone who is joining Creatathon, I thought it'd be fun if I did that spoiler filled reading vlog and we can discuss there and everything so hopefully I will be able to but we'll see if I have time I mean I'm really hoping to but yeah I think this is going to be so good and hopefully a lot of you who join us will love this book okay so first I'll just run through all the challenges and then I'll talk about what I'm going to read for each challenge. So the first challenge is to read a book translated from Korean. The second challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover. The third challenge is to read a book featuring a diaspora Korean character. And the last challenge is to read a book with Korean mythology. We also have two life challenges. So we thought this would be fun just to do during the week of Creatathon. So these obviously aren't reading challenges. So the first one is to make a Korean recipe. And if you're vlogging, it would be so fun to see what you make in your vlog. But obviously if you're not vlogging, we definitely encourage you to make a Korean recipe there are definitely a lot of simple ones and you know Korean food is just the best so and then the second challenge is to watch a Korean drama or film and there are obviously so many good ones out there so and also I'm obviously going to be vlogging during the Koreanathon so I'll show you what I make and talk about what I watch and everything so I'm just so excited so anyway now I'll talk about what books I'm going to be reading for each challenge so for the challenge read a book translated from Korean I'm going to be reading The Good Son by Yoo Jung Jung and this is a thriller and it is translated from Korean and I already have the audiobook so that's how I'm planning to read it and when I was looking up different Korean thrillers this is one of the top ones that came up and with thrillers I don't like to really know too much about the synopsis but it is a psychological thriller which is one of my favorites and I just can't wait to see what it's like and like I said don't really know much but <laughs> but one of the lines that promote the book is who can you trust if you can't trust yourself so that has me intrigued and also not many of my friends on Goodreads have read this book so it's one of those rare books that I haven't really heard too many people's opinions on so I'm excited to just go in and see how I feel and yeah for the challenge read a book with a person on the cover obviously the silence of bone works for that so that is really good but i'm going to try to read if i had your face by francis cha i was sent this by penguin so i'm really thankful because i was going to get this book anyway so this is adult contemporary and we follow four young women who are struggling to survive in contemporary south korea and it's supposed to deal with a lot of different things including the high beauty standards in korea strict social hierarchies and the k-pop fan mania that is going on and i'm so excited that it's set in korea because i've only read one book set in Korea so definitely want to read more and Monica has actually already read this and she really loved it too 
I just can't wait. So for the challenge reader book featuring a diaspora Korean character, I am planning to read Native Speaker by Chang Re Lee. And this was actually published in 1996, which is literally the year that I was born. So it's quite an old book, but I think it's kind of like a classic now. And we basically follow Henry Puck, who is living in America and he struggles to become a true American. So I believe he struggles to fit in in America and he's also drifting further away from his Korean heritage. So it's a story about cultural alienation and he also becomes a spy, which is quite cool. So yeah, I definitely hope I can get to this one because like I said it has become like a classic and I can't even never heard of it but when I was looking up different books to read I saw this and I was like that sounds really interesting so hopefully I can read that one and then lastly for the challenge read a book featuring Korean mythology I was thinking if I should read something new but I have been wanting to reread this book so I was like this is my chance <laughs> so I'm going to be rereading Wicked Fox by Kat Chol because it's one of my favorite books if you didn't know so I'm so excited. Um, if you don't know, this is why fantasy following Myung, who is a gumiho, and she needs to devour the energy of men to survive, and she decides to devour the energy of evil men to survive. And we also follow Jihun, who is in the forest. This whole encounter happens, and then they meet, and I won't say anything more, but it's super cute. It's romantic. I just absolutely love everything about this. It is urban fantasy, which is maybe my favorite type of fantasy. I love the Korean mythology that is interwoven into the story. Obviously, the whole story is based on Korean mythology, but we also get these pages just explaining the mythology, which I really, really love. So those pages are like every few chapters. And yeah, I just absolutely love this book. I'd be surprised if you've been watching my channel and you haven't heard me talk about this book because it truly is one of my favorites. I can't wait to reread it. And I think this will also be quick to read because it is a reread. So another good choice for a readathon. So yes, I'm so excited to finally be rereading this. And I feel like it will also be nice to reread because Vicious Spirits, the companion novel is coming out in August, I think. So yeah, perfect excuse. So yes, hopefully I can read all those books during the week that would be literally amazing i would love if you guys participated in this readathon and if you are please let me know what your books you're reading and if you make a tbr video please leave it in the comments i don't know how many people are gonna make a tbr video but i'll definitely be watching them all but yeah i'm just so excited about this readathon also if you're participating you should definitely follow the twitter which is careerathon and you can also use the hashtag careerathon to talk about you know your progress throughout the week and stuff that's what i'm going to be doing on twitter and obviously you can just tag us as well but i am just <laughs> So excited! So of course I'll have all the information in my description box and if you're not following Monica, obviously follow her because she's amazing. And yes, yeah, so I hope you're having a good day or night and I'll see you in my next video.